Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor and welcome to a brand new tutorial today where we're going to be looking at creating a falling leaf style particle effect. And I've been playing Ghost of Tsushima really recently and there's probably more falling leaves in that game than I've ever seen in like all the forests in the entire world put together. So I felt inspired to create something like that. You let me know what you think and any improvements you can write down in the comments. Be sure to check out my Patreon to get access to this and over 130 different scripts as sets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. Throw a like on this video and make sure to subscribe with notifications on so you're always updated on the stuff that I bring out. And be sure to check out all the links in the description for the recent sales on Humble Bundle and the Unity Asset Store. So I've got my little environment scene. So here's my tree that I'm going to have the effects just fall out of briefly. So if we right click on the hierarchy, choose effects, then choose particle system. I'm just going to name this my falling leaves. You can actually check out that I did make a tutorial when I first started on my YouTube Unity Adventure and it's really embarrassing. I might even put the link in the description for you to check it out. You can just right click at the transforms and just click reset. So once we've reset our particle system, we might want to create ourselves a material. So you can right click, choose create in your project panel and just choose material. And I've just named this leaf material. I've set this to particles and standard unlit. And I've just named this as a rendering mode type fade because we want it to have some sort of transparency. Now I've got two different textures that I've provided on my Patreon and you could create this in Photoshop just with the shape of a leaf or get something off Google and you could just cut it out. And I've just made it white so we can change the color of it. Or you could use a picture like this if you wanted. So we go onto our leaf material and add our white leaf in my case. Then what we can do is go back to our falling leaves particle at the bottom in the renderer tab. We can just go onto our leaf material and just drag it in to the material slot. And now we get loads of beautiful white leaves. Now, when we're at the top of the particle, we want to make sure that we have looping and pre-warm. So whenever it starts, it starts straight away. So it doesn't have time to build up because if you were spawned near this tree and you had not pre-warm on, it wouldn't spawn instantly. Now we can leave our start lifetime around five because that'll just stop it being able to spawn or end so far away. You can mess around with that later once we've adjusted it. You can set the start speed and keep that on zero because we're going to set this manually ourselves. We can have the start size between two constants and you could have it between say 0.4 and 0.5. So we get a slight variation on the size of the objects themselves. Then we can go and choose 3D start rotation and we can also choose that between two constants and we're going to do the X, Y and Z as the first set at 0, 0, 0. Then we're going to have 360, 360 and 360 for the bottom values. So we get a lot of variation on how they all spawn. So they won't all spawn exactly the same. Then on our start color, we can also set that between two colors, fairly bright green and then set it to maybe a much darker green so we get the contrast between the two. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to close up that, go to the emission tab and you can leave the emission around 10. You could mix this around when you go to create it. You can put it much higher if you need more particles to spawn. We're going to use the velocity over lifetime for now and I'm just going to set X value to zero and the Y value to minus two because that's going to act as like gravity is pulling it down, but not by very much at all. Then what we're going to do is go up to shape and we're just going to change this to sphere because it's going to then emit all the way around. We're going to set the radius to 0.5. So it's going to be much tighter. We'll leave everything as default, but we're going to set the scale much, much bigger. So we'll have much bigger emission. So we'll set it to 25. 25 and 30 on the corresponding items. And we can just say, put this in the middle of our tree. You can close that up and run down to noise because this will add some variation to the particles that we've already got. So they won't just fall in a uniform pattern. So we can set the strength to one, the frequency to one, because we get much more of a sort of dither on the particles and keep damping and everything by default. Then we're going to choose force over lifetime, which is going to act as the wind that's going to push our particles around. So you could set the X as around 0.25, the Y to zero and the Z to one. And then you can see that it looks like our particles potentially blowing the wind. Then we can close that up and choose the color over lifetime and 
When we select that color, we can set two points slightly inwards, select the original points and turn the alpha all the way down and select the other outward point and select the alpha all the way down. So we get a nice fade in and out of the particles so we don't get an obvious abrupt here they are and appear. And then what we can do is also choose rotation over lifetime so we get much more variation as they move. So if we take separate axes and we just set them all to 100 by 100 and 100, we get variation as they move along. And I just knocked my emission up slightly. And now you see the way that it falls like so. This was a nice and easy, peaceful tutorial for anybody to take the effect to the next level. So thanks so much for watching. Be sure to check out this asset and over 130 different scripts, projects and assets you can't find anywhere else on my Patreon. Check out my fantastic assets on the Unity Asset Store and on my website. Be sure to come and chat to me on Discord and thank you so much to all my patrons and everybody who comes to watch this video. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.